Welcome to my last lecture of this chapter. I summarized the whole second chapter in this lecture. In first lecture, you learned that acids are sour in taste and turn blue litmus red. And bases are bitter in taste and turn red litmus blue. Acid base indicators are the materials that change their color on change in medium from acid to basic or vice versa. Litmus paper, turmeric and some flower petals are the examples of natural indicators. Methyl orange and phenolphthalein are synthetic acid base indicators. These are used in the laboratory in acid base titrations. Applying solution on indicator or putting an indicator in the solution, we can come to know whether it is an acid or a base. In second lecture, you learned that the reactions of acids with number one metals. Zinc or Zn reacts with sulfuric acid or H2SO4 to form ZnSO4 and hydrogen gas is evolved. Then next reaction we learnt HCl reacts with sodium carbonate. The reaction is Na2CO3 plus 2HCl produce 2NaCl plus H2O plus CO2. Next reaction of acids with hydrogen carbonates NaHCO3 plus HCl produce NaCl plus H2O plus CO2. It means acids react with hydrogen carbonates to produce salt, water and carbon dioxide. Next reaction of acids we studied was reaction with oxides. Acids react with oxides to produce salt and water. For example, CuO plus H2SO4 produce CuSO4 plus H2. After that, we read the reactions of bases with number one metals, number two non-metal oxides and number three acids. Bases react with metals to evolve hydrogen. For example, Zn plus NaOH produce NaZnO2 which is sodium zincate and hydrogen is evolved. Next reaction of bases with non-metal oxides. Non-metal oxides like CO2 reacts with a base Ca OH whole twice that is calcium hydroxide to produce CaCO3 calcium carbonate plus H2. After that we read the reaction of bases with acids. NaOH plus HCO react to give NaCl plus H2. It means acid and base react to give salt and water. In third lecture we learned number one what causes acidic or basic properties and number two what happens when acids and bases are dissolved in water. What causes acidic or basic properties? Acidic properties are due to hydrogen ions and basic properties due to hydroxide or OH negative ions. Hydrogen containing compounds like alcohol and glucose do not have acidic properties because they don't ionize to produce hydrogen ions. Same is true about bases. When acids and bases are dissolved in water, heat is liberated. Acids and bases ionize in a proper solvent. For example, when HCl is dissolved in water, means HCl plus H2O produce H3O positive that is hydronium ion plus Cl negative or chloride ions and NaOH plus H2O produce Na positive ion and OH negative ions. In lecture 4 we discussed 4 points. 
Number one, what makes an asset or a base solution strong or weak and how can that be measured? We learned that it is the concentration means the number of H or OH ions per unit volume that makes an acid or a base solution weak or strong. More ions per unit volume means stronger is the acid or the base. Second point we learned that what is the meaning of strong and weak acids or bases. Strong acids are those acids which almost completely ionize. The percentage of molecules that ionize if that is more then stronger the acid or the base is. After that we studied what is pH scale. pH is a logarithmic scale to measure acidic or basic strength of a solution or materials. This scale is from 0 to 40. 0 is the most acidic and 14 most alkaline. Means if a substance has 0 pH, it means this is most acidic on this scale. And a substance having 14 pH is most basic on this scale. After that, point number 4 we learnt in that lecture was that what is the importance of pH in everyday life. All living beings require a certain pH range for their survival and growth. In next lecture or lecture 5, we learnt four subtopics. First was what salts are. Salts are the product of neutralization or acid-base reactions. The radical that comes from an acid is acid radical and that from a base is basic radical. At point number two or subtopic number two we studied family of salts. Salts having either common acid radical or common basic radicals are said to be of same family. Here you can see the examples. In subtopic number 3, we studied chemicals formed from table salt or NaCl. The compounds that are in your syllabus which are formed from NaCl are number 1 sodium hydroxide which is prepared by electrolysis of aqueous NaCl or brine. Second compound is CaOCl2 or bleaching powder that can be formed by passing chlorine over dry calcium hydroxide. Chlorine is got from NaCl through electrolysis in chloroalkali process. After that we studied about formation of or the production of sodium hydrogen carbonate which is prepared by passing carbon dioxide and ammonia through brine. The reaction is NaCl plus H2O plus CO2 plus NH3 produce NH4Cl plus NaHCO3 or sodium hydrogen carbonate. Next compound we can prepare from NaCl the fourth one that is sodium carbonate or washing soda that can be prepared by heating sodium bicarbonate. The reaction is NaHCO3 heat Na2CO3. After that we studied whether all salts that look dry actually dry. Many salts look dry but they contain water molecules attached with them in a fixed ratio. Examples are CuSO4 dot 5H2O, CaSO4 dot 2H2O, 
means gypsum and CaSO4 dot half H2O means plast of Paris. So that's it that we all studied in chapter 2.